Knowledge Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to make your yeast suspension for your yeast fermentation lab. The first thing you want to do is get a clean test tube. Then you're going to add two and a half mils of yeast to the test tube. I'm going to set that back in there. Pull up to two and a half mils. Recover the yeast. put them in the test tube, and notice that I've used a dedicated pipette labeled for yeast, so you know what was in there. Next, we're going to add our glucose. So again, it's two and a half mils of glucose. Add it to the test tube. And again, that's a dedicated pipette labeled for glucose. Now, you're going to gently swirl to make sure it gets all mixed up. And then to ensure that you have an anaerobic environment, you're going to add a coating of vegetable oil. And this prevents any air from getting down to the yeast, so they're forced to do fermentation. suspension. Alright, so now that we have our yeast suspension made up, we need to get it into a warmer environment so it will be at its optimal growing point. Now to do this, we've had water incubated to 40 degrees. We need to dispense this into that. Now to do that, we have to have this set up in the correct fashion. The water will sit right under it in a ring stand, and the yeast will fit right down in there. Tighten, and now it's going to be at 40 degrees no matter what, as long as we keep the water at 40 degrees. And to do that, we will need to use the turkey baster cycling water in and out. So it's important to ensure that our water stays at 40 degrees Celsius. And to do that, I have a water or beaker filled with warm water that we heat in the microwave and a beaker filled with cool water from the tap. Now we need to make sure this water stays at 40 degrees by putting these sort of different liquid temperatures in there. But first we must remove some of the liquids so and we'll overflow it. So we're just going to take some out with the turkey baster and put it into this empty beaker. Now as your experiment goes on, the temperature will drop below 40 naturally. So I'm going to take some of this hot water from this beaker and we're going to add it. And the temperature rises back up to 40. That's how you keep the temperature, just by redoing that. Okay, after our yeast suspension has been incubating for about 10 minutes in 40 degree water we've set it at, it's time to hook up the lab quest. To do this, you're going to take the end of the tubing and it's just going to screw right on top of our plugging cap. Then you're going to run the lab quest. Now, as soon as you do this, you should start to see an increase in the pressure, which we are solidly getting here. And after you've connected it, it's time to start running the lab quest and collecting your data. And that is how you do the yeast fermentation lab. Now you're ready to begin your own experiment. For next week, you need to have a written hypothesis, as well as a list of the items you will need, including their quantities and volumes. 